I think even from there, I knew it was just like I'm I'm staying with her. There's no, I, don't know, I can't leave this. I can't. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. My name is Mike. And I'm Shammy Sham Sham. Oh, sorry. Gotta be all that extra? <laughs> Beginning with all this extra? Sheesh. <laughs> Anyways, in today's video we'll be talking about who sacrificed the most when we first started our career and pretty much how it all ended up going. Like how everything went and should we have sacrificed to the point where, you know, the other person, even though it was a lower pay, did that career actually worked out very well. So I will start with her, ladies first. Me? Yes. So who do you believe between the two of us uh. has sacrificed the most in their own career in order for the other to um, succeed in theirs? Uh, I guess it would be me. Okay. I don't see it as a bad thing. No. No, it's not it's not it's not a bad thing i think i think overall it's like whether or not you you want the other person to succeed like if for example for example let's say your part one partner wants to do teacher and the other one wants to do police but the one that's a teacher will take longer than it is to be a police is it a bad thing for the person who's trying to be a teacher to quit their school so the other person can be a cop and hopefully after they get done with the academy or whatever it is that they do for the other to go back to school and finish. Yeah, I think it's it's a compromise. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we talk about compromising in a relationship and that's pretty much what it is. A lot of time people don't want to compromise too much because okay. they look at it as giving up on their dreams. But it doesn't have to be. I think in my situation... I wanted to be a nurse initially because that's what everybody want you to be nurse mm -hmm. doctor teacher um mm -hmm. parents and everything so you kind of think that's what you want to do so for me i always thought okay i'll go to nursing school and i started but then i quickly realized like i wasn't able to do it at that time so i decided you know to just do something else and let him proceed um what's the word proceed proceed Proceed. Proceed <laughs> to what he wanted to do, which was corrections. Mm -hmm. And then eventually, if I wanted to go back, I would have went back. But I definitely changed my mind after <laughs> getting my stuff. But I, I, I kind of went back. I got the you online did. degree. Was able, yeah, you was able to get it's just that I didn't get a job in that field. Yeah. It's a waste of time and student right loans. But a lot of time, people are selfish with. It's all about them. This mm. is what I want to do and that's it. You have no say. But I think if you have a conversation and decide on what you want to do together and as, a, as a team, then that's not a bad thing. And it's funny. It's not funny, but it's interesting because when, when we decided to um, make that, when she decided to make that decision, it's not like we was already married and she, we made that no. decision as a married couple. We made that decision as a, um, what, what was engaged, weren't we? Yeah. We, we made so. that as like an engagement couple decision like she she clearly realized that nursing had to do like full you had to yeah, be full time, time in nursing you work. and you can't work and i was hours. i was only going towards to the academy so it's not like i was able to support the both of us at the time so you know she decided to just drop her schooling in order for me to proceed and finish my academy for me to start working and then she just kind of like I decided to do online. Yeah, she decided just to of, do online, and yeah. um, and she just proceeded that degree instead. And it was a good degree, just that you know people don't want to hire you with no experience. Mm -hmm. That that was the only bad thing with the field I went into. But <laughs> so you know, it's just it's being able to compromise in order for um, you both to be happy. Yeah, in because the future. if you didn't um, if you didn't do corrections and move the way you did, we wouldn't be where we are right now. No. You know what I mean? I mean, if maybe if I went straight to nursing, we probably would have a similar life. But, you know, I think that it still worked out exactly kind of how we wanted it to work out. The hope that it will work out in the end career wise. Yeah. And I mean, and I'm, I'm always every day I always think about that. Like, I'm grateful that she was able to let me go and finish the academy 
and for her to actually Ooh, I remember helping you study for them yeah you did and you know <laughs> even tests. even at, like towards the like the last chance that I had because I took it three times I'm not book smart I'm all about street smart so anyway that's another topic but you don't like you know, tests and I hate tests I hate tests I hate interviews <laughs> don't question me just know that my work is really really good you know like yep. I'm, I'm always doing the job that I'm supposed to be doing and I'm always on point about it like <laughs> I, I don't play around when it comes to actually making sure that everything is done yeah. the right way like security minded pretty much and you know and every like I said I'm always grateful for the fact that she let me um, proceed that career and she actually allowed me to I don't want to say she allowed me because I could have just came over here and I didn't even care but you know the time the time I decided to actually move out here um, that because, was another sacrifice yeah that was another sacrifice cause, <laughs> moving across the country yeah it, it's just it's just being able to compromise and, and trying to figure out what is your end goal in life like as a couple where yeah. do you guys see each other five years, ten years from now? Yeah, it's like, yeah. why am I gonna sit there and fight when you're trying to make a better choice for the both for the both of us? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So when we decided to move across the country, he got the job pretty quickly. So I was like, okay, what do we do? And I decided to stay back because I was in a good, decent job. Mm -hmm. Stay back, let him get settled, let him come over. He can kind of see how the place is, try to get you know a place for us, and then. I'll try to look for a job. Hey, Diesel. Here's our cat. Decided to be Diesel. here today. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I decided to stay back um, with the apartment we had. Stay there. We were paying like double. Yeah, we was paying double. So I, double was paying, I was paying here. <laughs> stay with when I was paying, When I was staying with somebody who actually helped me come out here. I was paying this rent and I was also paying that rent. Yep. <laughs> and we we managed it. You know yep, what I mean? We like did it. we was able to um make it to where we was able to be like, okay. And then I had to fly out back and forth for the mm -hmm. interview, for testing, for backgrounds, all type of stuff back and forth mm -hmm. until I got the job that I'm in now and was able to move out. And I don't regret not doing the nursing. I love what I do now. And I'm stabling what I do now. So, mm -hmm. to me, everything happens for a reason. I don't have any regrets in that department. But when you're in a relationship, whether it's your... Um, to me, once you're committed to that relationship and that partnership, making these type of compromises shouldn't be too hard. Like, no. it's hard, but at the same time, it should be something you're willing to do, basically. It is hard because, you know, being together with Shemoya for five years and then, no, four years and a half... And then being separated from from her for like six months, it was it was tough. Yeah, that was tough. I was it in was the house by huge myself. Huge sacrifice, huge. <laughs> and I was worried because of the neighborhood that we was living in. You know, for her to be by herself at the location, it was just. Yep, ADT. It, I was always safe. worried. I was always <laughs> worried. You know, and it's just just being able to just get to where we are now. By and I'm not. I don't like change. No, she first don't. of all, she don't. let's just say that I like stability. Yeah. So if I'm in there, I'm in there. I don't want to move. No. So that was definitely, I guess, you know, very big of me. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't like change. No, she don't. And, I don't and, like the unknown. No. And you know what? Like, even over there, like, I tried applying for other places that paid about the same amount that I was getting paid over here. But it, it didn't work out. Worked so out. I couldn't, like, I was living. We was living. I was living paycheck to paycheck. We've and been there. It was frustrating. Yeah. It was really, really frustrating to the point where I was just like, I need change. And the part and that sucks when good. it comes to the career part, um, we know what type of persons we are. Mm -hmm. Like, it don't matter what you teach me to do, I can do it. Mm -hmm. And same for him. He's going to be loyal. He's going to work hard. All that stuff. So it was frustrating, like applying for jobs and not even getting an interview, mm -hmm. not getting the opportunity. And we would both like fill out applications and... Nothing was working out. Do and you, we started looking away. Do you think that if I would have been hired by Palm Beach County, that we would be here? We'll probably be living in Palm Beach County. Yeah. <laughs> I'll definitely be living in West Palm Beach. <laughs> I mean, nothing is wrong with that. But I feel like we needed <clears throat> our own like space. We needed to grow in somewhere new. Mm -hmm. That's my opinion. Sometimes you have to move away. And that's yeah. what I try to tell my friends or whenever anybody like bring up taking such a big step i'm like i don't like change but i was able to do it and to me it was the best thing ever mm -hmm. so 
Now I just need to be rich so I can, you know, <laughs> fly back and forth more know, often. Right? <laughs> That's my we only wish. If rich. I can go home every three, four months just for a weekend or so, I'll be happy with that. And I think that will be good. But would I'm you, happy. Would you still be working even if you were to get rich? Yeah. You think so? I think so. It's either I'm working full time or working part time or have a business that I'm really running. But mm. I feel like there's just something about a stable job. <laughs> if I was to be like, let's say. <laughs> it's scary not to be in a stable. Let's say if I was to be like, and then this changes the subject to being. But <laughs> it, it all comes down to the same concept. Com- compromising and sacrificing in order for the other to just be happy about what they're doing. Mm-hmm. Let's say I was making six figures like passively, I would still be working. I think so. Because even I, if I don't, it's part even, time. Yeah, even even like right now, like even if I was to get something, like I, I joke around all the, all the time to all my friends and coworker that my partner that I work with. You know, I'll, I'll joke around. Well, if I get rich, I'm gonna quit. No, I won't. <laughs> I get bored too easily. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> too easily. Like I, my I'm mind literally on vacation has right to now. Be literally, like my mind has to be yeah. active. I, I'm if on it's vacation. Not active, it's not working. I'm on vacation. They put out overtime, and I'm like, damn. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yep. I can work tomorrow, but I'm on vacation. <laughs> yeah. So you know, it's just it's for us. It's just what we have gotten to right now is, is we just can't take anything for granted. We just yeah. have to keep working, and we have to keep working hard for each other. Compromising on plans that we are deciding to do as a team, as a married couple. And he drives me crazy sometimes because so. his mind is always like. What else can I learn? Yeah. What else can I do? And I'm just like, dude. And, and it's just like, for me, if if I, okay, so if I scroll through YouTube and I sit there and I, and I see something you get and it catches my attention, thing. listen, the thumbnail catches my attention. I'm looking at his, his or her video and I'm looking at other 10 <laughs> other videos learning about how to do that. That's how I got into photography. Like, so, babe, I was thinking and I'm like, oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> That's the cold word. Don't do that to me. He's about to come up with something new, and I'm just like. But you said the last time that was it. Yeah, you know, like, I'm not gonna stop him from doing whatever he wants to do because I do feel like whatever you do as a career, it should be something you enjoy. Mm-hmm. I don't like the slavery mentality. Mm-hmm. Like you should really enjoy what you do because it makes everything else kind of flow. Yep. It's going to make your life, your home life easier and everything. So I would never like force him not to do something, but sometimes he does be like, Jack me a little crazy. Yeah. And it's like <laughs> the first time when I first started uh, like learning how to do photography, I saw one guy. The guy named was Peter <laughs> McKinnon. And when I saw his video, I saw majority of almost all his recent videos and other people's videos. And that's how I got hooked into photography like when she found out that i was learning how to actually be a photographer her mind was blown away well, she was, I was just ready like, what in the i'm She's ready like, all right go. let's go right now let's picture go to the party right. you better take my pictures right now and, you i've know, been waiting years for that i know right and you know what it's like for me it's, it's still a learning curve for me like there's a lot of things there's a lot of positioning there's a lot of poses and there's a lot of this lighting it just goes into so many details yeah. and now I got so interested at the beginning I was just all about landscaping and then as more pictures I was taking of Shamoya and other people I decided to say portrait was my thing that's one thing I will say like he's pretty good at like watching things and learning how to do it and he knows how to do it like mm-hmm. he'll, he'll just watch it and learn and pretty much have a new skill so he has so many little things he can do so as a partner and a wife, I try to push him to be like, yeah, you have these little skills, use them. Yeah, you haven't even mastered <laughs> one and you want to move on to the But at the same time, like, use them. Yeah. Get your name out there, use them. Because to me, I ain't got no skills. I'm just <laughs> like... <laughs> you are my support. <laughs> I'm just support. Like, even with the pictures, I was just like, it's holiday time. Get your name out there. People want pictures. Like, mm-hmm. people don't care. They want pictures of their family. And as soon as I said that... Click, click, click. You get a few and it's, 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 it's so funny because even like now, like you, like when we, when I talk about trying to get a new lens, like I want, I want to get this new lens. It's a 35 millimeter 
either a 1.4 or 1.8 aperture. You guys don't even know what that is, but <laughs> you know, she will get out of her way to look for the best deals for a lens for me yeah. and it's obviously for her. She gets out of she gets the idea of out yeah, of it, but it's, but it's mostly for me because of what the do. camera lens is gonna do for the yeah. camera and how well the pictures. But you do the out. same for me when I'm on YouTube. We said that the last video mm -hmm. or a couple of videos ago when I said I wanted to start YouTube. You bought the first camera. Yep, I did. Like, you bought the hard drive for the computer when yep. I wanted something. So I think we balance pretty good. Yeah, I think that. But at the beginning, for sure, she was the main support and the main person who sacrificed her career for me to actually pursue my career, and I don't, I don't regret that. And I think, I think even from there, I knew it was just like I'm, I'm staying with her. There's no, I, I can't leave this. Okay. <laughs> who will sacrifice as much as she did to be with the other? Like, no, I'm sure that there's other females out there, but. She caught me already. So I'm already real then. Real there. Yeah. Fish it line. Right? <laughs> what is that? You're not at the river. Right. It's this. <laughs> That's what I grew up with. The no, river. No, we don't do it. Yep. What? Rocks In America, we do this. <laughs> oh my god. But anyways, guys, so yeah, we we just thought that today would be a good day for us to talk about, you know, how Sacrifice. how we got here, where we at right now. Even though we kind of talked about little bits of it. But we wanted to let you guys know who sacrificed the most in their and career, okay in their life. And is it okay to sacrifice for the other one to be in the position that they wanted to be in? The Anyways, back and forth. you guys like the video, make sure to leave us a like. Any comments that you guys want to let us know, please don't be afraid. Yeah. Let us know who sacrificed for the other. Your man or the, the man or the female. Who sacrificed the most in your relationship in order to be where you are right now? And don't forget, subscribe to our channel. It's right there. It's a red button. Can't you miss it? it. Can't miss it. You see it? I'm pretty sure it's about 83% <laughs> of y'all who watches our video who don't actually subscribe. Hmm. I don't think that that's the uh, ratio, but I'm just saying. I am just saying. Just making up percentages. <laughs> Anyways, guys, until next time, see ya. Bye. I'll do, oh, I'm going to say, I'll do the deuces and you didn't do it. Okay, try it again. All right. <laughs> All right, guys, until next time, see you guys. Bye. Bye. Sorry. Uh oh, my hair looks like a mess. Are we good? I hope it doesn't look like. I just feel like it's not fluid motion. It's just. Like a little lag or something.